Iraq dam failure could kill up to 500,000 people. The failure could unleash a trillion gallon wave of water. Mosul Dam, Iraq. The largest dam in Iraq is in serious danger of an imminent collapse that could unleash a trillion gallon wave of water any time. Possibly killing thousands and thousands of people and flooding two of the largest cities in the country. According to new assessments by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and other U.S. officials, even in a country gripped by daily bloodshed, the possibility of a catastrophic failure of the Mosul Dam has alarmed American officials who have concluded that it could lead to as many as half a million or 500,000 civilian deaths by drowning Mosul under 65 feet of water and parts of Baghdad under 15 feet of water, said the dam manager. The Mosul Dam is judged to have an unacceptable annual failure probability. In the dry wording of an Army Corps of Engineers draft report, at the same time, a U.S. reconstruction project to help shore up the dam in northern Iraq has been marred by incompetence and mismanagement, gross mismanagement. According to Iraqi officials and a report by a U.S. oversight agency to be released Tuesday, the reconstruction project, worth at least $27 million, was not intended to be a permanent solution to the dam's deficiencies. In terms of internal erosion potential of the foundation, Mosul Dam is the most dangerous dam in the whole world, the Army Corps concluded in a report to be released. To be released. If a small problem at Mosul Dam occurs, failure is very likely. Behind the scenes wrangling, the effort to prevent a failure of the dam has been complicated by behind the scenes wrangling between Iraqi and U.S. officials over the severity of the problem and how much money should be allocated to fix it. The Army Corps has recommended building a second dam downstream as a fail-safe measure, but Iraqi officials have rejected the proposal, arguing that it is unnecessary and too expensive. The debate has taken place largely out of public view because both Iraqi and U.S. Embassy officials have refused to discuss the details of safety studies commissioned by the U.S. government for at least six million dollars so as not to frighten Iraqi citizens. Portions of the draft report were read to the Washington Post by an Army Corps official who spoke on condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the matter. The Post also reviewed an Army Corps PowerPoint presentation on the dam. The Army Corps of Engineers determined that the dam presented unacceptable risk. U.S. US Ambassador Ryan C. Crocker and General David H. Petraeus, the U.S. Commander in Iraq, wrote in a May 3rd letter to Prime Minister al-Maliki, assuming a worst-case scenario, an instantaneous failure of Mosul Dam filled to its maximum operating level could result in a flood wave 20 meters deep at the city of Mosul, which would result in a significant loss of life and property. A real disaster. Fundamental problems. Sitting in a picturesque valley 45 miles along the Tigris River north of Mosul, the earthen dam has one fundamental problem. It was built on top of gypsum, 
which dissolves when it comes into contact with water. Almost immediately after the dam was completed in the early 1980s, engineers began injecting the dam with grout, a liquefied mixture of cement and other additives. More than 50,000 tons of material have been pumped into the dam since then in a continual effort to prevent the structure, which can hold up to 3 trillion gallons of water, from collapsing. After the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq in 2003, American officials began to study risks posed by the dam, which they said were underestimated by the Iraqis. Seepage from the dam funnels into a gushing stream of water that engineers monitor, monitor to determine the severity of the leakage. Of the leakage. 24 clanging, clanging machines churn 24 hours a day to pump grout deep into the dam's base, and sinkholes form periodically as a gypsum dissolves beneath the structure. You cannot find any other dam in the world like this. It's really messed up. About two years ago, people became concerned that the pressure of the water was putting the dam at risk of failure. So they ordered that the dam's water level, which can reach 330 meters above sea level, not exceed 319 meters. But reports prepared by the Army, Cor Army Corps of Engineers began to raise new alarms. Mosul Dam is unsafe in any definition. The PowerPoint presentation said, it added, condition continually degrading and failure mode is credible and imminent. Under a section labeled consequences of failure, it says mass civilian casualties. The dam could collapse at any day Is the dam going to collapse tomorrow? They can't tell you that. Let us hope that we avoid a disaster and focus now on a solution. Stop gap measure. The Army Corps has recommended that a partially constructed dam, the Badush, which lies between Mosul Dam and the city, be finished as a stop gap measure in case Mosul Dam collapses. But the Iraqi government does not think it is necessary to does not think it is necessary to spend the estimated ten billion dollars for such a project. The top priority is to fix Mosul Dam by building a concrete wall at its foundation that should shore up the design and provide a permanent solution. He said experts have just discovered cutting-edge technology that, it were, that would allow such a wall to be built, perhaps with construction starting by next year at a cost of approximately one billion dollars. In a report to be released, the Office of the Special Inspector General for Iraq Construction, the Federal Oversight Agency, found that little of the reconstruction efforts so far led by the U.S. Embassy, has succeeded in improving the dam. The office reviewed, reviewed contracts worth $27 million, but an embassy official said the total cost of the project so far was $34 million. Our focus is on whether the project that the corpse undertook got carried out, and the answer to that question is no said Stuart W. Bowen, Jr., the Special Inspector General. The expenditures of the money have yielded no benefit yet. A disaster waiting to happen. Another sign.